Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Cade Plays Hellish Quartz this Sword Sunday. And it is the turn of our favorite fencer, the pokiest wench there ever was, Marie. So without further ado, let's have at it. Let's find out Marie's story. Marie Vigoro, a noble lady, an honorable guest of Starosta Marsan Krasiski, of the castle of in in Przemysl, was in fact a French spy. Her life suddenly became very complicated when she heard that someone named Samuel Zborowski killed her contact during a random quarrel, and even worse, could have read the letters that could expose her. Marie knew she has to silence this Samuel Zborowski as soon as possible. She's a doity French spy, people. And she's fighting to protect her anonymity, if not her life. Because Sam Samuel could expose her. Oh, oh, okay. So, we're going to be like this now, are we? All right, so I have not used Marie in so long. He took that point from me. That is horse crap. See those horses in the back? They just shout out something way better than that. All right. We all know the first rounds are me dialing it back. There we go. Like, it should be easy with Marie, because she's, in my opinion, one of the more overpowered characters in this game. She's just so... She's such a stabist. But I need to learn where her swipes are. So she's got a sidestep. Okay. And she's got a little inquartata on her. Oh, 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 okay. So her, con her control of range is incredible. Yeah, I took that point from you, sir. You didn't stand a chance. Her control of range is incredible. She she really, uh, she dictates a lot of these fights. Oh! Okay, so she's got a little, like, sidestep with an overhand in there. I see that being useful against Samuel. And then this is, like, a lunge feint into a slash. Got, a, like, a low swipe. He took that point. No. Look, I was playing with my moves, man. I was just trying to figure it out. Why are you going to be like that? And uh, today's episode is brought to you by um, Red Gatorade Fruit Punch. Because uh, nothing quite makes you feel like you're drinking the blood of your enemies. Like Gatorade Fruit Punch and that weird red ring it leaves around your mouth when you're done. Don't. Don't. <laughs> he went for it. He went in close. And I just took that back step and let him walk himself onto my rapier. All right, we got Yasek next. Okay, shouldn't be too, shouldn't be too, too bad. I shouldn't have lost two points to Barabbas, to be completely honest with you, but... I'm also flaming hot garbage. It's like flaming hot Cheetos, but garbage -ier. More garbage -y. More... You know what I'm talking about. Like, a, like flaming hot Cheetos, but if they were in a dumpster and the dumpster was on fire. So the Cheetos were burning, but like the dumpster itself was also on fire. Just flaming hot Cheeto garbage fire. The fuck? The fuck? The fuck happened there? What the fuck was that? That was a terrible lunging game. Okay, her standing high is this swipe, so I've got to make sure I don't do that. There you go. Just, just, really, more than anything, much as I have learned with a lot of the other characters that I'm traditionally not great with, it's so much more of a waiting game. And Marie can punish openings very quickly. I think she, I think she throws out some of the fastest wins you'll ever see in this game. Marie versus Marta. Oh, good lord. Oh, good lord. Poke fight. Amazing poke fight. Okay. 
really amazing poke fight. If you're me, that went swimmingly. Because I think uh, Marta's sword has much lower, uh, much shorter range. Did I take that point? That was so stupid. I just momentarily, like, my brain stopped. Because I was like, what the hell is happening on this screen right now? Alright, we got to do the skibbity, the skibbity pop. Oh, oh, I almost feel bad about that. Oh, Jesus, I just went right around the guard and directly through the center of the facium. It's the front part of the cranium. I'm also not a doctor. Come then, Alexander. Ha <laughs> ha! Little poke. Like the, the swipe into the... Where's the good combo? There's a lot to be said for that. I poked you again. I'll keep poking you, buddy. I don't think you're understanding how this is going to... Uh, shit. Fucking... What did we learn when we played Alexander last week? We learned Alexander is very aggressive. Oh my Christ! Th that was such an insulting way to cut my face open. He said, as if there's a kind way to do it. Oh my fuck. What the hell is happening? Alexander just swept me three for three. All right. All right, buddy. I just got to figure you out right quick. Turns out it's that. What do you what else you got? What else you got? You got a big hole in your torso. Now you got an even bigger hole in your torso. Good to turn your belly button into a outflow valve. How you feel about that? Ah, oh, the imagery of that was really gross. Oh, oh, oh. My first and only movement was a beautifully timed incortata. I took the I took the baby cut from that, but I really don't mind too much. Got him with a feint and ran him straight through the center. You sweep me, I'll sweep you right back, buddy boy. All right. Here we go. Now for the big one. Ya boy. Ya boy the Samuel. I suppose I'll let him get his little uh, dialogue in while I drink. Hit the vape as the flames of war burn. <laughs> okay, pal. Let's do this. So I felt pretty, I felt like I was lacking confidence when I took him on with Alexander. I feel way overconfident here. Oh wow, if you, uh, if you trade the first point, it replays his, uh, replays his intro. I did not know that. Fucking ow my face. Where was the guard? All right. There you go, that Incortata is going to be perfect. There you go. He took point number one, but I took his first... I've got his first flag right now. What are you going to do about it, bud? What are you going to do about it? I'm just going to let yourself... I'm going to let you run yourself at me. And I'm going to keep doing this. Oh, fuck. That was a very angry stab. That was a hate-filled stab that he just stabbed through the face of my face. I'm, I'm not about that. I'm getting way too... Okay, I'm getting way too spicy. I really need to, really need to calm down a touch. Just... It's... Marie is much more timing-based. Like, if I can... If I can be just out of range of his long lunge, he has an incredible um, he has an incredible opening right after that. As long as as long as you're close enough, but Marie's got crazy range. 
Did I both parry and repost in the same motion? Back it up. Back it up. Just back it up or I'm a poke you. What do I have to tell you about back it up or I'm a poke you? Yeah, keep talking, bruh. Keep running your mouth. We gonna do it. Oh my god. The total one lunge point. All the armor in the world won't save you, Samuel. Especially when it gets a little spicy to wear. Now will I take him first time on the final point? Or will I throw it because I get stupid and overcome? Like without his armor, he's so squishy. Yeah, get it off of you. Get it off. That's all you need. One jacket, the perfect color. The perfect color to hide your shame. Your shame will be all the blood leaking out of your torso. Alright. Nope. 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 Garbage. He, I fucking swear, there's no way I was in range of the tip of that blade. All right, all right. Let's let's let's. You know what? I was hoping to get a good length episode out of this anyway. Oh, you, he's got back. He's got a little skippy back pop. Don't slow cut me, dude. Don't fast cut me, dude. Damn it! I'm getting mad now. <laughs> I'm starting to. I'm starting to fence like crap. Come on. Come on, you like this. This is what you wanted. You wanted to fight. You craved death. Come get it. His little Samuel face. He's got such a Sammy face. Come on, lady killer. Ah. When I hit the right stride, I really hit it. And I demolish him. But if I get, like, off tempo, it goes real bad. See, that's it. You just gotta keep him at that kind of a range. No. Don't. 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 That should have been point. Come on, man. You damage phys you da damage calculation just works however you want, whenever you want it to. Come on, swing at me. There you go. That was what you had to do. Just present me with an opening. It's what you were born for. Fucking idiot. Let's do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. We can outpoke the Samuels. If I'd have been closer, I would have had him on that. See him taking that long guard like he's going to go for his little lunge. How is that his point? God damn it. I need to... Dude, I just really need to calm down. <laughs> Otherwise that happens. I just get baby cut on the face. And then massive cut on the top of the head. Dude. That, how do you get that cut right across the top of the head like that? Gave me a headband. Come on. Come on. We can do it. No, we can't. My god, I'm so... Uh, like... I'm so susceptible. Something about Marie's guard position makes me so susceptible to that move. Like, I can tap you back. I can do, I can do this all day. I mean, I don't plan on it. I have other things to do today, but... How was that his point? That sucks! Come on, do, you, do your little... Do your little Jimmy swipe. Again, fuck. That would have at least been a trade against anybody else. But Samuel's filled with armor. He's a big old armor boy. So he knows what's up. My fucking god. <laughs> I need to stop getting so angry. It's really making me play badly. I registered two hits off of that stab. That's more like what I want to see. Come on, Sammy boy. 
with your big old Samuel face. Like, if you can catch him right, you can do enough damage in that single hit. It is eminently possible. Alright, got to take one more point off him, and then not blow it at the last hurdle. Oh yeah, popped you real bad there, didn't I, fella? Alright, come on. Come on. There you go. He went in for that damn sideswipe, the one that he always catches me with. So... If you can get one good hit on him to where he's slow, you can bait that swipe and then go in underneath his armpit. Another quick hit of the old vape. To internally calm myself. And a sip of that sweet, sweet Gatorade juice. To keep the voice nice and lubricated. Because by God, my voice gets so burned after however long of recording episodes I've only got a certain amount of talk in me before my voice just collapses oh if I'd have been a touch closer that's a good start that's a good start outranged his stupid little lunge you gonna lunge at me again buddy don't nope damn it fuck Fucking God fucking shit. D -d Infuriating ass fucking Samuel. Do it. Take hits. Take hits all day. Just like that. Bait the stab, bait the horizontal, and then just punish him for it. That's all I gotta do. I just gotta bait. That I was just out of range for. I can, call, I can force him to back off, though. And then I can hit him with the little pokes. You see, you got to stack up the little pokes. That is how one marines. Go home. Samuel Zborowski, go home. We traded the point. If I'd have been a little further out, I might have gotten away with it. It's okay. I'm going to keep my calm. That was way, way too far. I registered both hits. I love when I can get that one. When I can get that long guard high lunge. And I can get both hits off of it. That fills me with joy. Joy and vengeful fury. Tap G again, man. Like, come on. Come on. Like that. Just like that. Just bait him back. Dive in with the lunge. Just gotta take this last point. You big stupid goof. You big dopey red clad fucking idiot. You big stupid armored fucking dummy. I'm getting all the rage out now so that I don't blow this last point for a third time. Although it is kind of, like, questionable that losing the final point makes you do the whole fight again. Maybe just make me do the final point again? But it is what it is. I've learned the rules of this by now. We must just we simply persevere. So it's the same way we just we got to bait those kind of attacks and then try and punish. Try and punish off of them. Just like that. I was too busy try I was too busy being overconfident and being like, I'm gonna go in and stab him to death. And then I forgot that the best way to do it is to bait the attack. Let him come after you. And because Marie is Marie, the second there is a slight bit of available torso, you just ram a rapier into it. That is how she is supposed to work. All of my failures were results of me playing poorly. And I accept my failures in the face of my ultimate success. So, does Marie's story turn out well? Let's find out. Whatever Samuel might have learned about Marie's true role died with him. 
She searched his entire belongings, but the letters that could expose Marie as a spy for the Kingdom of France were nowhere to be found. Looks like he might have never taken them after all. But this means someone else has the letters, and Marie might still be in grave danger. Oh, that's an interesting piece of story that I'm very much invested in. If, uh, if Samuel didn't have those papers, who does? Bet's like Gideon or somebody. I can't wait for them to expand on all of these story elements. I'm really looking forward to that. But for now, we will take one step closer to the end of our runs by saying that I have been Cade. This has been Hellish Quart. Thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you next time.